This is Master Alex from the Harmony Martial Arts Center, and we're here to start our online classes. Now, as you probably have heard, our in-person classes have been temporarily suspended, um, but in the meantime, we want to make sure you guys are still having the opportunity to train, whether it be Taekwondo, Krav Maga, we want to keep you guys engaged, physical, active, and healthy. Now, on top of practicing social distancing right now, there are many things that we can do to keep our body strong, keep our mind strong, keep our immune system strong. And of course, the physical and mental benefits that come from martial art training are very valuable right now. So, um, we also want to make sure you guys understand that you'll be getting credit for class, right? So if you're watching these videos, this is going to count as a class. In other words, you're the same way when you scan in, you get credit for class, moving you towards stripes. That's all going to be happening from watching these videos. So I want to make sure that when you watch this video, after you finish it, leave a comment down below um, with your name and your rank, and we'll make sure to credit you to class so that way when you come back in, we can give you your stripe when all this is blown over. All right, guys. Um, so if you are under the age of 18, I want to make sure you guys are practicing with your parents. Make sure they're supervising. No kicking and punching all over the place and knocking stuff over. I'm looking at you guys. All right, guys. So let's get started with our warm up. All right, guys. So for the first part of the warm up, we're going to be strengthening our core, strengthening our arms. I'm going to do that with some planks. So I got this timer. Here's what I want everyone to do. Get your body in line with mine. You're going to have your hands underneath your shoulders directly. I don't want your hands out here. I want them right underneath your shoulders. You're going to be up on your toes right here. And we're going to hold that position for 30 seconds. I'm going to give you a three second countdown. Here we go. Three, two, one. Good. Make sure during this motion, you're breathing the whole time. Trying to keep your spine as straight as possible. If you notice your hips start to sink like that, get them up. If you're getting tired and your hips are raising, bring it back down. If you have a moment of weakness, don't worry, I won't judge you. Just make sure you return back to that straight position. After all that talking, you've only got 10 seconds left. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, sit on your knees, bring your arms up and shake them back and forth, just like this. Good. We're gonna do another set, this time on our forearms in about five seconds. Five, four, three, two. Down on your forearms in the same position. Nice straight body, elbows directly underneath your shoulders, keeping your spine in a nice neutral position. We're already 15, or excuse me, 10 seconds down. Keep breathing, hold it. Core is tight, core is strong. Five seconds left. Five. Count it with me. Four, three, two, one. Come on up. Shake those arms back and forth again, like this. Loosen everything up. Good. Now, pop to your feet. All right, guys. So, we're going to start doing some jumping jacks. We're going to do 30 of them. For a jumping jack, guys, I want my feet all the way out, my hands up touching together over my head, and then back to an attention position. We're going to try for 30 of these. If you know how to count to 10 in Korean, I want you to do that. Otherwise, you can count in English. Here we go. Counting with me. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Korean now. Hana. Duel. Set. Net. Dawson. Yo set, ilga, you do, a hope, you will ten more. Hana, do, set, net, dose, yo set, ilga, you do, a hope, you will. Attention. Good. Now from here, I want you guys to do some light jogging in place where you're kicking your heels to your butt. This way. When you do this, keep your hands up by your face. Good. Now we're lifting our knees in front of us. This way, here. Make sure you keep breathing. As you do this, now stick one hand out, tap the knee. Breathe, relax, five seconds. We're gonna be doing 20 jumping jacks. We're gonna do the first 10 in English, second 10 in Korean. Starting in three, two, one, and go. Hana, duel, set, net, do set, yo set, ilga, you duel. I hope you will. English now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And stretching time. Let's push one arm across like this. Good. Now, take that same arm up, back behind your head. I want you to push down on your elbow and back with your head this way. 
And open it up, other arm across. And take that arm back behind, push down on the elbow and back with your head. Good, relax, both arms back and forth. Notice how I'm alternating which arm goes on top, left arm on top, right arm on top. Full range of motion. Now I want you guys twisting your upper body this way. I'm gonna step back so you guys can see what my feet are doing. How I'm pivoting on my foot this way. Here, swinging my arms. Good, now hands on your hips, big circles all the way around. I'm trying to keep my head right where it is over my feet. My hips are doing the motion. So I'm not doing this here. I'm moving the hips, not the head. And the other direction. If you wanna make this more fun, you can stick your finger out. Good. All right, guys, now I'm stretching the legs. Arms up high, fold forward. All right, guys, so when we're doing the stretch, we wanna make sure that we're keeping our legs straight as possible. If you can't quite touch the floor, that's okay, but you're doing your best to get those fingertips or even your palm on the ground. Notice from the side here, I'm keeping my legs straight, but I'm trying not to round my back too much. I wanna keep my back straight as well. And I'll hold it for a few more seconds. Good, now we're gonna squat down on our toes like this. We're gonna take one leg and stick it out to the side. One hand on either side of your leg and then just lean forward towards your toes. If you wanna get a little bit of extra practice, if you guys can see my foot, I'm gonna push my ankle forward like this and pull my toes back. So I'm practicing my front kick foot position. Good, now we'll switch. Bring that foot in, stick the other one out. One hand on either side and lean towards it. Again, ankle forward, toes back. So we're practicing that ball of the foot position. Good, now sit. We're gonna put both of our legs out nice and wide. Hips forward. We wanna keep our body straight. Again, we're not trying to get our head to the ground. We're trying to like roll our hips and our chest towards the floor this way. Reaching out in front, going as far as you can go. Breathe the whole time, keep your legs straight. I can see some of you kids bending your knees. Don't let that happen. Good, come up, give it a little massage, loosen everything up. Good, now we're gonna bring one arm up this way and we're gonna go over to the side. So we're stretching out our side as well as our leg. Come up, and the other arm up, and over to the side. See if you can get both hands on your foot. And come up, and again forward, down to the center. Five, four, three, two, and up. All right, guys, we're gonna pull our feet in tight. Heels in close so the bottoms of your feet are touching. You want your knees going towards the ground and you wanna bring your head self up, your head up high and then lean forward. Again, trying to bring your chest to your feet, almost like you're trying to put your face on the floor out in front of you. Don't put your face on the floor though, that's not very sanitary. Come on up, shake them out a little bit, get them loose, loose, loose. This time we're gonna take our hands off of our feet, we're gonna put our hands on our knees, get them going down to the ground, and lean forward again. Good, all right guys, one more stretch, I'm gonna give you a little side view of this. We're gonna start on our knees, putting our hands on the floor, tucking our toes on the ground. We're gonna push our hips up, I want my legs straight so that my heels are pushing down to the ground, and I want to put my head right between my shoulders like this, here. If you want to work one calf a little bit more than the other, you can kind of shift your weight so you're going from one side to the next, but you want to keep those hips up high towards the ceiling. Good. All right, guys. 
Pop it up. Kanye. Fingers up. Jumbi. Hands up. We're stepping out into our horse stance. Uh -huh. Knees are bent. Toes are facing straight forward. Here's what I want you guys to do. Put your hands tight by your hip. Every time I key up, I want you guys to fire a straight punch forward, rotating your shoulder, rotating your hip, and hitting with those two big knuckles on your fist. Ready? Uh -huh. Again. Uh -huh. Again. Uh -huh. Notice how I'm turning. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I want you guys to key up at home. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Wake up your parents. Uh -huh. Good. This time we're going to do a double punch. So when I key up, I want you guys to do a double punch. You're going to go one, two. On the second one, you're going to yell. Looks like this. Here. Ready? Good. Bono. And attention. Wow. Okay, everyone. Now we're going to be working on our blocks. Everyone, Jumbi. Step on horse hands. All right, guys, so here's what I want you to do. You're gonna take your right arm, bring it up and across, put the other arm on top. We just made our X. We're gonna do our low block. So we're gonna bring that arm down and in front of our knee as my other hand comes close to my hip, ready to chamber. So up, there's our X, and low. Up, and low. X, and low. X, and low. I don't wanna see any straight legs. You gotta keep those knees bent. X, and low. X, and low. Good. Now we're going to do the other side. Left arm is coming up and across. Right arm on top. Ready? And low. X and low. I want you guys thinking about this like a strike. Like you're taking your arm and you're hitting someone in the leg. Ready? X and low. X, low. X, low. Two more. X, low. One more time. X and low. Good. So now we're going to put them together. We're going to do each block. Each one's gonna have a chamber and an X beforehand. So watch, I'm gonna go X on the right, low. Then quickly go X on the left, low. So when I say go, I'm gonna key up. You guys are gonna go X low, X low. Ready? Good. Again. Ready? I'm gonna give you a couple times to try to catch up with it. You might not be going quite as fast as me, that's okay. You might be going faster, who knows? Ready? Two more. One more time. Good. Okay, guys, now we're going to change it into a high block. So we are going to take our right arm. We're going to fold it across like we're making a little shield in front of our chest. My left arm is going to go on the inside like this here. Now, my horizontal arm, that's this one, my right arm, is going to go up and across my face. I'm going to make a block right over my head here. Okay, so my arm is bent and I'm raising up in front of me. Make your T. We call this a T. Ready? And high block. Good. T. And high block. T, high block. Again, T, high block. Good, T, hold on, check it. Is your blocking arm on the outside or is it on the inside? It's supposed to be on the outside, so that's where I want you guys to put it. Ready, high, T, high, T. You gotta race me, ready, high. One more time, T, and high. Good, now the other arm. Left arm's going across. Right arm goes on the inside. Both of my palms are facing towards me. Ready, and high. Good, T, high. T, high. So when we make a high block, guys, the block should go two different directions. Obviously, it should go up, right? It's called the high block. But there's one other direction. Do you know what it is? I'll give you a second to think about it. It's forward. I wanna make sure that when you guys do your block, it's not going up and behind you. It's going up and in front of you, up and forward, okay? So when you do your high block, not just up, but up and in front. So that left arm again, ready, T, high. T, high. One more time, T, high, beautiful. All right, so now we're gonna put them both together, just like we do with the low blocks. We're gonna go right, T high, and then left, T high. Making sure that each time before the block, we have our blocking arm on the outside of the chamber. I'll go kind of slow at first, just to make sure you have time to get that little detail just right. So ready? T high, T high. Good. Give you a second. Ready? High, high. Good. Don't forget your T, guys. Don't just put your arms up. This is a cool dance, but it's not going to be good for your blocks. Ready? T high, T high. Going a little faster now. Ready? High, high. Good. High, high. Give me a couple more. High, high. Last two. One more time. This time in super slow motion. Ready? T high, T high. Beautiful. Bono. Attention. 
and bow. Good job. All right, everybody, so for this next part of the lesson, I want you guys to grab something that you can hold on to. This is one of the best ways to train your kicks. If you've been taking classes at Harmony for a while, you've definitely done this at least once or twice. Um, we normally do it with a windowsill, so that is something that you can grab, but if you're at your house and you have like, you're near a couch or you have like a back of a chair or something that you can hold on to, anything around waist height can be a little higher, um, but just something that you can hold on to to balance you. Because we're gonna want that balance because we're gonna be on one leg for a while. So once you have whatever it is, whatever that allows you to view and keeps you at a safe space where you're not gonna kick stuff or kick people, we're gonna practice our balance. So here's what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna do a, a count here holding a front kick. So the first count, all I want you guys to do is pick your knee up like this. We're gonna hold our knee at least as high as our belt. That's important. I don't wanna have your knee down here. I want it belt high or even higher this way. Now look what I do with my foot. Just like before when we were stretching, I wanna push my ankle down and pull my toes up in this ball of the foot front kick position here, hitting with this spot. So I'm just holding my foot here. This is just the one count. Just balance for a little while. Eventually your leg muscles will start to get a little sore, but you're using this for balance, so you'll be okay. Good, now put it down. Good, we're gonna do that again. Ready, knee up, hold it. Don't let your head drop. Keep your head up, keep your balance. Don't let this beat you. You're gonna, be, you're gonna, you're gonna make it through it, I promise. Good, put it back down. So that's one. Okay, now we're gonna move on to two. Watch, I go one first. Got to do one before you do two. Two, nice and low, guys. Look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna kick like knee level here. I'm straightening out. Look at how I'm working my foot position. I'm not worried about kicking high. I'm working on the technique, working on straightening my leg and making sure that I'm hitting with the ball of the foot. That's two. I'm gonna hold it for a little bit. You guys feel that burning right here in the top of your muscle? That's good. Good, put it down. Again, move this chair over just a little bit. Good, knee up, that's one. Make sure you have your foot position already. Get ready for two, here we go. Three, two, one, and two. Low, low. Look at the foot position, guys. This is the important part. I don't care about how high you kick. We're gonna go high in a little bit. Good, okay, now here comes three. Ready, three is the exact same thing as one. Three is bend it back. You still have that knee up. You still have your foot position. Good, and set it down. Whew, very good. Shake the legs out if you need a little bit. Good, let's do it again. Ready, and knee up. Ball the foot position. Hold it, that's one. You know what two is, two's the worst. This is the worst part. Pull those toes back, push your ankles forward. Feel the burn. Good, now three, we know what to do. We're bringing it back right to one, and four is setting it down now for four. Whoo, very good, okay. So now we're gonna do a couple of those a little bit faster. You can take your hand off if you need it, you can, but I don't think you guys will need it when we're going fast. So hands up by your face. You're gonna bring your knee up, snap it out, and you're gonna make the one, two, three, four, all at fa as fast as you can. So I'm doing every step. One, two, three, four here. I'm kicking high, not knee level, and we're doing it all quickly. Ready? Key up. Again, I'll key up first so then you guys can kick when I key up. Kick, good. Kick, good. Make sure you're still doing your foot position. Good. Good. Hands up high. We want to see two bends. I want to see your knee bend first and then bend after. I don't want to see dropping your leg. Knee kick, recoil, and then put it back. Two more. Ready? Last one. Good job. All right. So depending on how your room is set up, you might need to switch your holding thing to the other side, but we're just going to work the other leg. You might be able to keep it where it was. Um, I'll let you guys figure that out. Pause for the, pause the video if you need to adjust your, your room. So now working the left, everyone's favorite. One, hold it up. Show me that foot position right here. Good. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And put it down. Good. Again, ready? One, up. Ankle is pushed down and toes are pulled up here. Put it down. Good. And one right into that foot position. I wanna see on this next one, guys, put it down. On this next one, see if you can have your foot be in that position the moment it comes up. Ready? One. Good, we're gonna go into two. You know what to do now, guys. We're straightening the leg, keeping it low, not trying to go high, but we are trying to straighten the leg and work that foot position. Oh, I feel this already. Never skip leg day, guys. Good, put it down. <sighs> do it again, ready? Knee up, one. And extend, two, right there. Show me the foot position. I can see, push that ankle forward, pull those toes back. I'm looking. Good, and drop. 
Okay, so now we're gonna do the full kick. We're gonna go one, two, three, bending it back before we get to put it down. A little bit longer, a little bit stronger. Here we go. Keep that foot position. Extend here, out for two. Hold it a little bit longer, three, two, one, and bend it back. We're still in three now, same as one, but we want that foot position, don't let go of it, and four, put it down. All right, I'm gonna stop talking. I'm just gonna call out numbers. You guys follow along. Here we go, ready? One. Two, low, straight, strong. Three, and four. Shake them out. We're gonna do it again, here we go. Ready? One. Two, three, four. Okay, all right, we're gonna do some fast kicks now. If you don't need to hold onto the chair for balance anymore, you're just gonna put your hands up, you're gonna bring your knee up, again, all of that bending. Here we go, ready? Oh yeah! Kick, and then back. Oh yeah! I want you to imagine, there's like a little spot on the floor. That's where your foot is gonna start, it's where it's gonna end, it's gonna be that exact same spot every time. Hands up, ready? Oh yeah! your foot. You can help it go high by keeping your head up and looking to where that kick is going. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Three more. Oh yeah. Two more. Oh yeah. One more. Oh yeah. Good. Attention and bow. Okay. Now I'm going to bring that chair over. Next kick. Ooh, this is the fun one. Side kick. This time it's going to be a six step. Okay guys, six steps. So you want you guys to follow along with me. Hand. Actually, let me move this over just a little bit so we can see the whole kick. Hand on your windowsill, on your couch, on your chair. Step number one, just like the front kick. We want our knee up in front, but what's different? What do you guys notice that's different right now? It's my foot position. Look at my foot position. It's not here. I'm hitting with my heel on my side kick, so on my ankle, my toes all pulled up as high as possible. Good, hold that and put it down. Good, again, here we go. One, knee is up, ankle is pulled tight up towards you. Good, hold it, hold it, and put it down. Okay guys, we're gonna jump into step two now. So, knee up, that's step one. Step two, we're not kicking, we're just gonna pivot here, this way. So, what you guys can't see, I'm gonna show you guys in just a moment, but I want my knee up here, turn so my foot is flat, parallel with the knee here, and I'm still holding that foot here. Now, I'm gonna tilt the camera down so you guys can see a little bit here. So, look at my foot on the floor. Watch what this does. This foot, the one I'm standing on, is going to pivot. This is essential when you're doing a side kick. If your foot is still here when you're trying to kick that way, it's no good. You gotta come up on the toes, pivot, so that your heel is facing the target. Good. So we're gonna come back up here so you can see me. Why wouldn't you wanna see me? Let's do it again. Here we go. Knee up, turn for number two. Hold it. This is where you really need this window so you really need that chair for balance. If you wanna play with it, you can kinda See how you feel about taking that hand off, but I really wanna make sure you're not losing your strength. Let this chair be a little bit stabilizing for you. Good, and put it down. Whew, one more time. One, and two. Is your foot on the floor pivoted? I know you can't see mine right now, but mine is pivoted. I need yours to be two. Look down and check it. Good, all right, put it down. Okay, so now number three, this is the kick. All right, so knee is coming up, that's one. Ready for two, and turn. Okay, for three, I'd like you to try to go waist level. You might not be able to go that high, that's okay. Look how I'm extending, straight line, this way. If you can't keep your leg straight at this height, it's okay to drop it, okay? It is most important to me that your leg be straight rather than high. But if you can hold it up here, this is a great way to challenge your strength. And look, I'm kind of cheating, I'm balancing on this, this chair, okay? Good, that's three, and we're gonna put it down. Good, so let's talk about some more details. Knee up one, hold it. Pivot for two. Every little detail matters. Is your knee still up or did your knee go like this? If your knee's down here, no good. You gotta get that knee up here. Excellent. Now, we're gonna kick out. And look at my toes, guys. I'm gonna give you a little front view. I, don't, I want my toes sideways. I don't want my toes up like this. You can see your toes. I can't see your toes, but you can. Are they like this? Because if they are, you wanna turn them down in this position. Get them nice and sideways, maybe even with your toes a little bit below your heel. All right, relax. Shake them out. Good. This time we're gonna go through the whole thing. We're gonna go, we just did one, two, three. We're gonna add four, five, and six right now. So here we go. One, two, pivot. Here comes number three, full extension, all the way out. 
straight leg. I don't care about the height, I just care that it's straight. Four is just like two, you're gonna bring your knee back. You're still in this nice flat position. Your knee's not down here, your knee's up here. Good. Five is just like one, here, good. And then six is over, Whew, very good. Let's do that again, I'm gonna call out the numbers. Here we go, one. Pivot for two. Kick is three, full extension. Four, five, six, good. Okay, let's do it again. One, two, knee up, three, four, five, six, Whew, good. One more time, here we go. Then we're doing the left, uh-oh. Knee up, one, two, three, four, three, oh, you thought I was gonna say five. No way, too easy, here we go. Four, five, six, woo. All right, time to work the other side. We're gonna bring the chair over here. If it's as easy for you to fix as that, that's good. You might need to change your angle a little bit, but we're gonna go through the whole little sequence. Woo, we know it's starting. Gotta start with one, knee up. Pull that foot up here. Good, hold it, and down. Good, you guys feel your muscles burning? Your, the leg you're lifting up should be burning and the leg you're standing on should be burning. This is gonna make your kick stronger, more stable, so that when you hit things like a person or a board or a shield, that board, person, and shield, that's moving. Your leg isn't moving, they're moving. So let's do it again, one, and down. All right, we're gonna get into two early. Here we go, ready? One, hold it up, we're gonna pivot, Two, you know what happened down here, right? I don't need to show you again with the camera, but this foot down here is pivoting. My heel is facing right there towards my target, the same as my kicking heel. My knee and foot are up in a nice flat position. Let's try that again. Ready, and one. Two, here. Don't let that knee dip. Knee's gotta be up in a strong straight line. Back down. Okay, we're going into three. Here we go. Knee up, that's one. Pivot, that's two. Full extension, this is three. Nice straight leg, if your knee's bent, get it out there. You're driving in through your heel. Don't have your toes floating out there. I see you, I see you relaxing on that ankle. Pull it back. Good, drop it. Woo. Again, here we go. One, two, three, full extension, hold it. We're almost done, guys, I promise. Here we go, now four, yes. I know this hurts the muscles, stay with me. Five, six, whew, we got a couple more of these. Let's go, full, full six count. Ready, one, two, I'm sweating right with you guys, I feel it. Three, out, don't let your toes be up. Turn those toes down, rotate your hip, nice straight line. Four, five, six. Last one, best one, right here. One, two, three, good, hold it, four, three again. Oh, you knew I was gonna do that. Here we go, four again, five, and six. Whew, excellent. Attention, Kenya. All right, guys, it's that part of the class where we're gonna talk about our word of the month. And the word of this month is indomitable spirit. Now, we've been talking about it a lot this month. Um, and of course, for those who may have missed the, the talks about the indomitable spirit, indomitable spirit just means our ability to keep moving forward, keep pursuing our dreams, keep pursuing our goals, despite any resistance we might encounter, right? So what do I mean by resistance? I mean people telling you negative things, people telling you, oh, you're no good, you can't do that, right? Being able to block that out, Keep moving forward, keep chasing your dream, or experiencing failure, right guys? Anyone who's trained to the rank of black belt, anyone in this school has experienced some level of failure in one way or another, right? Whether it's missing a stripe, not knowing your form, getting kind of hit a little bit too hard and sparring, something like that. But if you have the indomitable spirit, guys, and you really have your mind set on achieving that black belt or any sort of goal in your life, whether it be a, a career, something in school, learning an instrument, you have to have the indomitable spirit. You have to be ready to keep moving forward, uh, despite any sort of failure or negativity that people might be bringing towards you, okay? So right now, uh, with this whole COVID-19 thing, is a particularly, particularly 
um, pressing time. It's really something that's going to challenge our indomitable spirit, right? Because for some of us, we're unable to be making classes, right? Um, but that doesn't mean we should give up on our goals, right? Right now, when we're in a, in a unique time, we're not going to school, we might not be going to our groups and classes and things like that. Um, we can't lose sight of what's important to us. We have to really make sure that we're focusing on our goals. In that case, for us, for you, for me, it's the black belt, right, guys? So I'm really proud of you guys for being here and watching, showing that indomitable spirit, continuing your training. And even if you're not watching these videos, guys, I'd like to see you be, or I like to hear when you guys tell me, oh, I worked my form at home, right? I worked my self defense at home, right? I was in my backyard and I was practicing my kicks. That always really makes me happy because it tells me that you have the state of mind, the spirit that you're going to be moving forward, even when I'm not necessarily standing there telling you to do something, okay, guys? So everyone say indomitable spirit. I'm just going to assume you said it. Good job, guys. All right, ready up. All right, guys, so we're gonna be practicing our forms. We're gonna start with white, and then we're gonna move on into yellow. So start at attention position, and bow. Good, fingers up, jumbi. Okay, guys, so I wanna see big, long stances. Make sure you've cleared out a lot of space, and I'm gonna give you guys an alternative for doing these forms if you don't have as much space as I do. Okay, so first, we're gonna start with a look to the left, make an X, big, long stance, low block. Good, now moving forward from here, I'm gonna step forward and punch, punching right to the center of my body. From here, I wanna turn, I look, I make my X, right? Just like we practiced earlier. I'm turning all the way around. Long stance, low block. Again, moving this way, I'm gonna step and punch. Always make sure you're in your long stance with your front knee bent. Now I need to turn to the front. I make an X, turn to the front. Long stance, low block. You guys know how many punches we're doing, right? We're gonna be doing three. Step punch one. Step punch two. On this third one, make a big yell. Step punch three. Good. So now we're gonna do what we call the turkey move. That means we're moving our back leg. I take that back leg, make my X. Now for me, without moving my feet, I leave them right where they are. I'm just gonna twist right in my low block. Keep going this way, I step, punch. Now I'm coming to you guys. Follow my turning signal, X, all the way around. Long stance, low block. Keep moving this way, step, punch. Pick it up on the pattern. Now we go this way, make an X. Long stance, low block. How many punches do I do? Three, step, punch one. Step, punch two. Step, punch three. So when we yell, that's our key to do what? We do the turkey move. Back foot comes all the way around. I make my X, and then I twist right on those feet, right into my low block. Step forward, punch. Turn, X, and low block. One more, I step punch, and I'm done with my form. Make sure you guys finish in your best long stance. Take a little extra second to make sure it's really bent in the front, straight in the back. Whoa, we return to ready stance. Attention and bow. So that is our keyboard Young, your white belt form. All right, guys, so we're gonna be practicing our yellow belt form, Taiguk Iljong. Um, now normally in class, white belts, after we practice our white belt form, we would be breaking you off to the side to work something else while the yellow belts and up worked on their yellow belt form. But for these online classes, we wanna give you guys the opportunity to learn your form early, okay? So if you guys are ready, of course, yellow and orange, you guys have to do this, but white belts and tiger belts, you have the opportunity to practice your yellow belt form as well. So let's get started. From our attention position, we move to ready stance. Now, just like white belt form, we're going to our left, but we're gonna make a low block in what we call a walking stance. So a lot easier, more relaxed on the legs. From here, we step, punch. Since we're not straining our legs, I want you guys to challenge your snap of these punches and blocks. I turn, make the X, wham, there's my low block. Now I step, punch. Now, here's our first long stance. We're gonna to turn to the front and make an X. Long stance, low block. Without moving our feet, we're going to punch, okay? This is the first tricky part of the form. We're gonna bring the hand up to our ear. So whatever arm you just punch with, the opposite hand comes up to the ear. I'm gonna slide my back foot. It's gonna come up in front of me, like this. Now this hand up by the ear makes an in block, okay? So my feet and arms are crossed. Right foot is forward, left arm is blocking. Now I'm gonna step forward and punch this way. Good. So now I bring my right hand up to my ear. My left foot's gonna move all the way around and I turn into my in block. Good. Now I step, punch. Now we make our second long stance to the front. X and low. Good. We don't move our feet, keep them on the ground. Punch. Now we make a T. Just like before, we're gonna slide the back foot except now we're facing the other way. The back foot comes up here and I make my high block. Left foot left hand. I'm going to do a front kick with my right leg, recoil, and snap out my right punch. Good. Make a T. Turn to the other side. Right high block. Right foot in front, right arm is blocking. 
Now my left leg is gonna do the kick. Front kick, punch. Now from here, I'm gonna go to the back. I'm gonna take that left foot that I just kicked with. I'm gonna make this big step all the way to the back with that left foot in a long stance, low block. And then I step punch, ah -yah! Good, now from here, when I take one up, you're gonna move your back foot, bring it over, and ready stance. Attention, and bow. All right guys, so we just finished practicing our forms, and I told you that I was gonna teach you a way to practice them with a limited amount of space. Of course, when you come to the school, we have lots and lots of room for you guys to move, but when we're at home, we might not have that same luxury, right? There might be furniture here, things over there that might be in the way. So since forms take up a lot of space, let's learn how to correct that. So we're gonna call this a jumping form. And some of you guys might think, oh, I've done that before. And this is kind of fun. So watch what I'm gonna do, guys. Um, when I go into my ready stance, let's take white belt form as an example. Normally with white belt form, I would turn to my left and I would step. And you can see already that started to bring me in this direction. If I step and punch the next move of the form, I'm really taking up a lot of space. So when we do our jump forms, guys, you're gonna move both of your feet. You're gonna spring off the ground. You're gonna hop and you're gonna land into your long stance. Boom. And you see, I stayed right where I was. Now, instead of stepping forward to punch, I'm gonna hop up, switch my feet. Now I've landed in my next move. So I'm still practicing all the moves without taking up any space at all. Just this little, this little quadrant here. So now I'm gonna turn, I jump up. This is the challenging part. I'm gonna swing both those legs around and I land in my long stance here. Now I jump up, punch, and you can continue the whole form without really moving. Now turn, one, two, number three. Even the turkey move all the way around into your long stance. So this can get a little more challenging as you move up into the harder forms. Even as early as yellow belt form, right? You're gonna start having to do things like a kick when you jump. Um, but this challenge can be really fun. Even if you do have the space to do your forms normally, this might be a fun way for you to challenge yourself. Okay, guys? So again, jumping forms. Right when you go into your ready stance, you're gonna look up, jump to land into your movements. All right, guys, practice those. All right, guys, so now that we've finished our forms, I wanna remind you guys, typically in class, we don't do the form just once, right? We wanna make sure we're repeating it because it's tough to remember those. So if you want, you can go back and watch that whole section again. I encourage that. We also have a separate section on our YouTube channel and a playlist called Forms, where you can see all the forms, white belts, uh, through to black belt and you can watch a front view and a rear view and this this rear view can sometimes help you um, get those forms down so if you need a little more detail on those please feel free to check those videos i'm also encouraging my students to look at the forms uh, above their rank right if you've got your form down we don't mind if you take a look at that next form start practicing that a little bit early and get you set for that next form all right guys all right, guys, so we're gonna be practicing standing in base. So this is, of course, very important for my yellow belts. This is how you get your first strike. Um, but this is also just the way black belts and martial artists are expected to stand up in general. Um, so you have an opportunity to practice this, of course, when you're on the mats, but you have an opportunity to practice this on any flat surface. So if you're sitting on the ground at your home, if you're sitting at the beach, anything like that is an opportunity to practice standing in base. So look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my hand and I'm gonna put it by my hip. Now, I'm gonna sit uncrossing my legs so that I'm uh, on the side of my hip. We call this kind of just chilling because it's a pretty relaxed way of sitting. So again, look, my hand is close to my hip and I'm sitting on that right hip here. Now, one leg is laying on the ground and my foot should be facing right at my target. My other foot is flat on the floor. And now this is a little bit of the not just chilling position where I put my hand up in front of my face. This is to protect me from any potential threat. Okay, now cross your legs. That's how you sit in base. So if you hear the teacher ever say sit in base, they want you to do this. They want you to sit, scoot your tailbone out to the side this way and sit on your hip. Hand by my face, other hand close to my hip this way. Okay, one more time. Cross your legs and sit in base here. Notice how my foot is out and it's facing the opponent here. It's not tucked under like this. It's not useful to me here. So we're gonna practice kicking from this position. I'm gonna use my front foot and my back hand. I'm gonna lift my body up like this. I'll give you a little bit of an angle so you can see. I lift my body up, front foot, back hand here. Once I'm there, I'm gonna use this base leg and I'm gonna kick straight in like this, okay? I push off of this back hand, I drive into that kick as I extend. And I'm hitting right here with the flat part of my foot on the bottom, right? So I drive in, kick this way. Again, kick. Okay, I want you to do it with me. Using that back hand to lift you up. Body off the ground, kick in. Good. Okay, guys, so now we're gonna practice standing. Let's take away the kick for a moment and let's just practice standing. 
I want to lift the same way. But now I want you to imagine like there's like a rope tied to your, uh, your back here, to your tailbone, and it's pulling you up like this. It's going to pull your hips up like that. And I leave my leg folded tightly. As my hips go up towards the ceiling, now I can put my foot behind my hand this way. So I'm going to give you a different angle of that. Look how I do it from the side. I use this back hand up. My tailbone goes up to the ceiling, and then I put my foot behind my hand. What does this stance look like? It looks like a horse stance. That's the final position here. And I go right back down, okay? Back hand, front foot. Lift my body, pick the tailbone up, and then I put my foot. It should almost look like you're about to step on your fingers. Once you're here, now you can stand up into your fighting stance. So, set myself back down. Hips up, all the way, foot behind the hand, and I just stood in base. I'm gonna do it facing you, so I want you to do it with me now, okay? Hands are here, hand is up protecting my face. Hips up, foot behind, right up into your fighting stance. And then set yourself back down, all the way here. Let's start from crisscross here. Sit in base, tailbone out. Right now I'm gonna lift, up here, into my fighting stance. Back down, okay? This time we're gonna do it with the kick. We're gonna kick first, and then without setting our hips back down to the floor, we're gonna go right back to standing up. Okay, so go slow. Here, kick, recoil, hips up. Now I come right up into my fighting stance. If you can do all of that together, you got this whole thing down. So, sit on your side. Here, lift up. Kick, recoil, hips up. I'm right into my fighting stance. Okay, I'll go a little bit faster, but it's not about speed. It's about being thorough, being efficient, making sure every movement is hit. We're gonna do it three times. Cross, sit in base, kick, and up. Last two, down, crisscross. Sit in base, all the way on the side. Kick, hips up and down. If you're not able to get your foot behind your hand, it's because you're not lifting your hips high enough. So this will be your last chance to try it. Ready, here we go. Sit on the side. Kick, hips up, foot down, and I'm in my fighting stance. All right, guys, that's how you stand in base. Anytime you're standing up off of a flat surface, I want to see you do that. Good job. All right, guys, so at the end of every class, what we're gonna be doing is a challenge of the week, okay, guys? And this challenge might be something physical, like some sort of exercise. It might be physical in that it's like a, a technique that's particularly challenging. Um, it could be anything like that, and I want you guys to do your best to try it, okay, guys? You might not be successful right away, but I want you guys to try this challenge. Um, and if you can do it, I want you guys to show it to me when you are next in here and coming to class. Or if you want, you can film it, have your parents film it, and send it to us. You can either email it to us, send it to us on Facebook, the Harmony Martial Arts Facebook, anything like that. All right, guys, so here's today's challenge. You're going to sit down, okay? What I want you guys to do is bend your knees so your feet are very close to you like this. The first stage of the challenge is you're going to rock back like this. You're going to plant your feet, and you're going to stand up. So notice how I kept my heels flat on the ground and I just stood up with one foot of the feet here. So I squat, I rock back, and then I put my feet really close and I stand up like that. So I'm trying to strengthen my legs and let them power me straight up like that. One more time, squat, rock back, plant the feet, and I come right up this way, okay? So that's the first stage of the challenge. Second, if you can do that really easy, watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna squat down, I'm gonna lift one leg. I'm only gonna put one foot on the ground like this and then I'm gonna stand up using that one leg here. I'll show you that from the side. So I squat down, one leg up, and I stand up using only one leg like that, okay? If you can do that, try the same thing with your other leg, okay? And here's the final stage of the challenge. This is the one I'm gonna be really impressed if any one of you guys at home can do this. No rocking at all, okay? So no leaning back, no momentum. You're just gonna put your foot on the ground like this, keep the other one up, and you're just gonna stand up using that one leg. And if you can, you can even lower yourself using that one leg. Put the foot on the ground real hard, boom, and push yourself up using one foot So we're strengthening those legs. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for coming to the class online. Make sure, again, you comment down below so we can make sure that you are uh, getting your attendance. All right, guys, attention and bow. Class dismissed.